team is so big and their front line is athletic and, uh, and then obviously we didn't have you know, justice in the second half for us so it uh, really made it difficult on our end but I'm so proud of our effort how we fought but they have a very talented team and a team that's going to be a hard team to beat especially if they're getting the perimeter shooting like they're getting here this afternoon. The zone defense kind of gave him some trouble. Uh, did you kind of expect it to go that way in the first half? Well, we knew we had to play some uh, because of the front line and their size. So we knew we were going to play some zone. We had worked on it and um, it didn't do enough for us because, uh, you know, they shot it better than we had hoped they would. But their inside presence, and then even when they shot it from the zone, it's still, you know, you feel like the game really clicks on for them when the ball is in the air, how well they can go get it out of the air and off the backboard and even off a of free throw block out. So we, you know, we didn't do enough of our job to keep them off, but they're very talented and athletic and hard to keep off the glass. You're walking good too game. fast, man. You're okay, walking too fast. Another good game for Malik, I guess. <laughs> allowed him to really start off this season. Well, you know, he's a really good player. Um, I think he really enjoys the system that we have and how we allow him to play. And, but he's uh, he's he warrants that. He's earned that. Like he's creative. He's dynamic. He's uh, he's a floor leader in addition to being an outstanding scorer. Uh, he's very well coached throughout his time in high school and AAU. So we kind of knew we were what we were getting when we recruited him. Um, but certainly, you know, his shot making and play making has been much needed for our team. You, you mentioned the Indiana size um, going into this game. Just how did you guys kind of plan for that? And it, did, did, well, did it go as well as you thought it would? We we planned for it, telling our guys that uh, you know, not sure how much you can. You, you got to just be a little tougher along the backboard of blocking out and so working on those kinds of things but until you see it live and we can show film but, but then when you're out here and you see how really how big they are um, changes things and it's, the game is moving and switching things and I mean they're you know coach Woodson is an outstanding coach and you know they, they took advantage of the areas that they have an advantage and uh, they did a very good job. Coach, I just wondered if I could ask. You mentioned no Justice Ajbo in the second half. Yeah. You could comment on his status moving. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I know he's had a hand injury coming into it, uh, but then he certainly, I think he re-injured it, and maybe in a way that may have um, done more damage to us. I'm not sure, uh, but certainly it wasn't good based on our training staff saying that he was uh, he's out for the rest of the game. I think they did some some X-rays or some type of uh, um, uh, analysis of it, but I'm not sure what the results are. Thank you.